So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build your Saturn V rocket. In this rocket, it's very nice, it gets the job done, and it looks much better than, than others of what I've seen because it looks really realistic and accurate in the real one. But it is a bit shaky when I take it off, so yeah, that's kind of, it's really tricky to take off. But I'm trying to make it improve it so it doesn't shake as much, but it's kind of hard. Because it's it's a pretty big rocket. So you want to start off by building the top of the rocket, just like simple, basic parts. Then I put two decouplers right under the engine, one facing down and the other one facing up. You want you separate these. It's gonna like separate the shroud and the landing module. Then I put two landing modules right on top of each other, about connecting about one third the way in and you want to put three small fuel tanks and the uh, small engine I forget which one what it's called inside of it you want to put like almost everything inside of the rocket it just lo it looks like more cleaner and put some of your control services then you want to get a little strut or structure thing right in the middle and put about six of them and at the sides and you'll get this thing this cargo area so it looks and put six of them so it looks like a hexagon shape so even though it's bigger than it is you still get to keep the golden look of it which is what the real one had so this part's a bit tricky because you have to put fuel tanks and for some reason if you put it on the actual if you don't connect the fuel tank with the engine itself it won't work like it won't use thrust as you can see right here in this test run it's always important to like test your rocket in segments to see if everything's working so like the last thing you want to do is go to the moon and find out that your lander doesn't work and that's what I found out so you wanna like remove all the fuel in there again and put a single engine right on top of the structure piece we put a single fuel tank I mean and then put about four or five fuel tanks around it and squish it in so it looks like one then squish all of them in Oh, uh, you could show that fuel lines. I'm not sure if, if this makes a difference. I just want to be extra sure. Because I don't want to crash when I'm going on the moon. It's a bit tricky, but as soon as we get like a bit higher, then it works. Then it'll fit everything inside the lander. And as you can see, as you test it out, you can, it actually works now. But obviously, it doesn't have enough thrust to lift everything up because it's not supposed to, especially not here in curb. So I'm gonna put like every fit everything in a strap. I like to keep it like in the first yellow. Uh, I mean, but keep like the module, then second like make a cone. It's not exactly how it is in real life, but it's yeah. Then right here you want to get like a little this thing. I forgot what it's called. It's like a structural piece. Then like a pretty small engine and put it right there in the bottom. This engine's a bit weird because like it's really small and skinny like this one. So I think that one's better. Obviously, it doesn't give out a lot of thrust, but by then we'll be in space already, so we don't need that much thrust. We'll probably start by putting out some structure pieces and putting about four large fuel tanks. You want to squish it about so they're like halfway in, in, into each other.
right here is a bit tricky. You're supposed to like orientate these so they're facing up, then like rotate them in so they're like form, try to sort of form like a cone. You do use like a lot of these, like one they're facing up, the other one facing down, then facing up again, then facing down. And you will need about four of them. Or at least four more. I didn't try to make it exactly like perfectly nice since this is the tutorial. And I'm probably gonna go back and like make them much nicer and later on. And probably try to improve the stabilization into the aircraft there. That seriously needs to be worked on. Other than that, and once if I find out how to stabilize it, then it will be much like basically the best rocket and cover space program. So I wanna put like three pretty large rockets engines on the bottom of this one and put like a little structural piece and uh, outside and in, in the inside. Then I wanna put like a decoupler and other decouplers on bottom of the engine. I want to connect the other engine under this so we line it up perfectly the same. We're going to put like an orange thing in the middle just because so the orange, the middle engine has some fuel to grab. But what I found out that this rocket is so heavy, these little engines right here, they're not even little, they're actually pretty big, but they don't give enough thrust to actually lift the entire rocket up. So <clears throat> you have to use like the bigger one, the biggest engine we have in the game. But that does not look accurate. I much rather prefer using these engines because they look so much real more realistic. Than the actual Apollo damage, but unfortunately, we can't unless we use like mods or something. Do you want to like make sure you like use structural struts throughout the entire rocket, like as much places you can? Because this part's fine, like you don't need that much. The part is really weakly, it's like right there with the the cargo area is where they carry like a lander because there's a lot of the couplers there and like it's really wiggly. And right here you want to do like basically the same thing we did it was the clown part. So it's the same as the circle. It's a bit easier because it doesn't require as many pieces to like play with. So well, obviously the first few attempts end up in explosions, but it's fine. As you can see, <laughs> the rocket is not very, it doesn't give, it's not powerful enough. No matter how hard I try, I like, can't make this thing lift off. It's like it's too heavy. But I did actually use extra fuel. Like I tried it before. Like there's a lot of extra fuel I will need because, but I don't know. It's like, I like having it because it's extra safety. I guess you have an extra cushion. But yeah, there's a lot of fuel that we don't need. This airplane. Rocket. Also make sure this rocket has a lot of batteries because the real Apollo 11 didn't have solar panels so yeah you have to like have enough batteries to make sure you survive the entire trip to the moon. We shouldn't be too far it's not that far. So in order to have the escape system which is kind of cool which the real Apollo 11 actually did have like you kind of like put Put under the abort system, make sure they all decoupler this rocket engine decoup ignite and the decoupler doesn't ignite and yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, you have to use these rockets in order for this thing to actually take off and it's like pretty annoying because 
it's not how it actually looks like and if you don't know about me like i'm like really strict on like trying to make things accurate and accurate over performance performance so yeah and yes a bit shaky of course <sighs> very shaky destructively shaky so we have to fix that we need more struts I always like to make them as small as possible just so it's hard for them for you to see them because they do look kind of bad it looks like stitches This part's a bit tricky, but eh. I use a piece right there, a structural piece, to so like connect all of them. Then after that, your rocket should be fine. It's just a bit shaky, but it, oh, that was bad. We're to launch. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. For some reason, it just exploded. But that shouldn't happen again. So, it, your rocket takes off. It's powerful enough to go to the moon and back. You have plenty of fuel, except for the lander. That lander is kind of sketchy because the lander was like less than 1% of fuel remaining, which is really stressful, but truly really accurate because that's how it was in the actual Apollo 11. The like, lander was only like 10 seconds of fuel left, or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will probably make a full mission video on how to get to the moon with this rocket so stay tuned for that. So uh, and like always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Bye.